Hangouts. Ab Killer Sunugwa. Hello, I'm called Ab. This video will go over the months of the year in Haislakila. And this is on the Haislakila website. So you can see the, the banner up there. You go to the menu, commonly used high slow words and phrases, and then months. So that's where I am right now. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see this better. So we have January. Lestals. Lestals. And that means to move back from its zenith. So they're talking about the sun. So our way of telling what time of the year it was was based on the seasons and also the position of the sun in some cases. So the way that we were able to tell the seasons was we, we would watch the sun setting across from where Kitimat Village is right now, otherwise known as Timotza. So we would watch the sun set it on the mountain that's in behind where Rio Tinto is. That mountain is called Gilwanuh. Gilwanuh. So we would watch where that sun would set. And in January, it starts on this side of the mountain. And then as the year goes by up till June, it reaches kind of the end of that mountain and then it comes back. So January is when the sun kind of gets back to where it started. So that's what lestils, lestils means. The sun moves back from its zenith. February, Heikulithla. Heikulithla. So this means time people are out of food and clean everything out. It can also mean to put clean sand in the house and rake powdery snow off the floor. So this is when the uh, the winter supply of food is starting to run out. So that's basically what Heikulithla means. With March, there's a couple of different ways that you can say it. You can say, Gegoyala. Gegoyala. Which means a bit of north wind comes every morning. So the winds are colder because of the north winds blowing. Uh, that basically refers to it coming back. And then you could also say, Gigyayuyala. Gigyayuyala. So, Gyayuyala is the north wind. And this gi is basically uh, the plural form of it. So it that north wind, the kyayuyala, is coming back repeatedly. So you could say either one of those. April, there's two different names for it. One of them is zahuila kos. Zahuila kos. Which means ulikan month or time of Ulikan. There's also Kwahela Kos. Kwahela Kos, which means growing month. So you can use either word, either name for April. My understanding is that Zahuila Kos is the first half of April. Kwahela Kos is the second half of April. And the date yeah, right now it's early April when I'm recording this, and there's already things starting to sprout. So that's basically growing month. You can use either one of those names for April. May, kapila kos. Kapila kos. This means this means spring salmon month. So um, going back to April, the first half of April. If you look at the name Zahuila Kos, the first part of this word is comes from Zahun. Zahun, which is Ulikan. So Zahuila Kos is basically the time of Ulikan or Ulikan fishing. The similar there's a similar thing happening with May. This comes from Kabas. Kabas is spring salmon. So kapilakos is time of spring salmon. That's when they start to run. 
June is He si la cause. He si la cause. Uh, this is when the sockeye start running. So hasten is sockeye. He si la cause is the time of the sockeye. July, kia pi la cause. Kia pi la cause. This is humpback or spring salmon month. So kia pi is humpback salmon or spring salmon. Kia pi. So kia pi la cause is time of humpback or spring salmon. August, gua he la cause. Gua he la cause. So this comes from gua genis which is dog salmon. So guachenis, dog salmon. Guachelacos, the time of spring salmon, or the month when this dog salmon spawn. And then we have September. Tahuilacos. Tahuilacos. I have to correct myself there. I'm looking at this uh, A in the middle. This has an accent marker over top of it. So it tells me I put the emphasis on that word. So, Zahuilakos. And uh, this comes from Dutwun, which is Koho. Dutwun is Koho. Zahuilakos is a time of Koho salmon or Koho salmon month. So that's kind of a trick to memorizing these um these months, is if you know the names of these fish, if you know Dachwin is Ulkin, then you'll know Dachwilakos is time of Ulkin. Kabis, spring salmon. Kapilakos, spring salmon month. Hasten, June. Or Hasten is a sockeye salmon. Hasilakos, a sockeye salmon month. Kiapi, a pink salmon. Kiapilakos, spring salmon month. Guachenis, dog salmon or chum salmon. Guachelakos, dog salmon month. Dutwun, koho. Zahuilakos, koho month. So that is one, two, three, four, five. That's half of the months right there. Six of them are based on when different species of salmon or salmon and fish run. So that's half of them right there. If you can remember those and remember them in this order, then you'll you'll be on your way to knowing all of the months in general. So next is October. Gualis. Gualis. This means ready or finished on the beach. It can also mean to occupy or be assigned a spot on the beach. So this comes from the word guath. Guath means finished or ready. This is means beach. So guaalis literally means finished on the beach, which is the first definition that we see here. Finished or ready on the beach. November. Tuchwilisa. Tuchwilisa. So this means when rotten fish washes away on the beach. So all of the salmon have finished running and the, the bodies are on the beaches. So that's November. And then December. Tuwenheid. This means to become winter. So Tuwenh is winter. Tuwen is winter. This uh, heid or heed means to become. So that's the literal translation, to become winter. Tuwen heid. So those are the days of the week. You can find the spellings on the Chaisla website. Until next time, make squigwe less.